On the second day of their home invitational, JMU softball went up against 2-6 and six Coppin State. Despite having a home game under their belt, nerves still affected play in the bottom of the first with one hit but no runs. Sometimes that can happen when you want to get the big hit and you want to you kind of get anxious a little bit and, and don't let the game come to you. Um, and I think we've had kind of that conversation throughout the game. And with every game comes its challenges. In the top of the second, a Coppin State player hit a ball off of the third base back, which was called fair. Coach Laporte commented on how important it is to advocate for her players in these type of situations. That's a big change in a call because it was no outs and and then you have a runner on first base. You know, I saw it where it was foul all the way, and I think, you know, it's good that the umpires can get together and make the right call. In the bottom of the second, the Duke's bats started to connect with the ball, scoring at least one run every inning from there on out. Freshman second baseman KK Mathis scored her first home run of the season in the bottom of the fourth. It was a great feeling, you know, first one at home as a freshman, so it was um, a good feeling. Uh, just wanted to produce for the team today. While the offense is clicking, the team knows both sides of the game are crucial to success. Our defense is, is ready, and, and they want the ball, and that's that's a good thing. The team looked to take their momentum into the next game of the Invitational against Fairleigh Dickinson. Win every inning. If they score one, we score two. Reporting from the infield for Breeze TV, I'm Sam Reinard.